So Ellen and I are both going on holiday in the month of May, so we thought it would be fun to share a bit of an OG style vlog around packing with a few packing tips and travel tips. I feel like this is fun because it's like naturally what you do with like friends is like you talk yes. about your packing yeah. things and what you bought for your trip. But we're you guys need to be more quiet. <laughs> Our boyfriends are playing FIFA together, so there's some quite <laughs> loud shouting going on down there. <laughs> Ellen and I have been talking about travel because I don't know, I feel a bit out of practice. Like COVID, we haven't been traveling as much. It's kind of ramping up again. Yeah. So we thought we'd do like a little bit of like of a haul of like travel essentials we've bought recently and then a little bit of a pack with me. We're very much focused on like minimal packing. Mm. Um I personally don't want to carry a whole bunch of stuff around the UK. Tara just wants room for shopping, so. So the explanation is I'm going on quite a few trains in Japan, so I figure if I take my carry-on size suitcase, that's gonna be a lot easier to move around. Also, my neck size up is so big. <laughs> Ellen came in and was like, oh my God, it is huge. <laughs> and I'm kind of thinking it would be nice to get one in the middle for traveling. So I'm gonna keep an eye out and buy a middle-sized suitcase in Japan if I find one that I like. And then fill it with shopping. Yeah, fill it with shopping. <laughs> Should we start with your Sephora bag? Cause I wanna see what you bought. <laughs> this, this is gonna be really anticlimactic for it? you because all the stuff in the top is from Kim's Warehouse. <laughs> hey, we love Kim's Warehouse. This is what I bought from Sephora. It's a whopping seven dollars. This is the Sephora. So why didn't you just get that from Chemist Warehouse? Though? Because I've tried that and these, I just love them. They're the Sephora Organic Cotton Square Cotton Pads. I have really sensitive eyes and I find the other ones, I get little fibers stuck in my eyelashes. Okay, yeah. And these ones never do that, so. And they're really big, so you just need one. Good for traveling, because you can take a little stack. I won't take this whole bag. That was all this in my Sephora bag. But Sorry. you got all of these little things. Yeah, these are from Kim's Warehouse. Okay. So I got the little baby bioderma. I love traveling with this. I also take, when I'm traveling, face wipes. I feel like you use a face wipe if you're like exhausted after a long flight and you just want to use a face wipe, you know? I mean, I tend to pack them for like a shower on the plane. So because we're flying to London, it's like a 12 hour flight to Shanghai and then like another 14 hour flight. And it's like you just wipe yourself down in the bathroom because yeah. we don't travel first class we have access to showers and cool stuff like that. We are economy all the way. Although I'm really excited because we're like the front row of economies. We get like the, the extra labor room. I've got two mini, mini packs of face wipes or just wipes. These I'm are really sure good in your hand two of these, right? <laughs> You're coming home with me. I got into them in Singapore when COVID was still around and you were kind of being more conscious of making sure our hands were clean and like wiping tables in public areas and it was just very handy. So now this is my like travel setting. Yeah, I have like in my side pocket sanitizer as well actually. Yes. Because even though the big C isn't like front page news anymore. No, but like there's also other illnesses you, you can get while traveling. Holiday, yeah. So that's like easy access because my drink bottle doesn't actually fit in this. Uh, I got a new deodorant. Thrilling. Um, thrilling. But apparently in Japan people are quite odor conscious because you're quite tightly packed on trains. Oh, fun fact. So an essential, I got the unscented one which is what I like and apparently they're not into really strong perfumes in the train. I don't know if this is a yarn that someone told me or if it's real, but unscented deodorant. I also got a new powder. Um, the classic Rimmel Stay Matte. My favorite Rimmel Stay Matte. Which we've probably talked about on this channel for eight years. Probably. <laughs> I've got everything in our little silver beauty makeup bag here. I noticed my one that I'm using at home has hit pan and it tends to crack when that happens. So mm. I'd advise if you're hitting pain on anything, don't waste it and throw it out, but keep it at home for when you get back, but travel with a newer pan because the last thing you want is it like exploding in your luggage and all the little pieces are everywhere and like, just get a new one. I've also got a travel adapter. I need to get one of those. Yeah. Okay, so Tara's leaving in like, what, four days? And I'm leaving in like nine, no, so oh, I'm leaving. Lost. In two days. Two days! So yeah, when I travel, I like to take one travel adapter and then like a power board you can plug multiple plugs into. Oh uh, yeah. And charge everything at once, but you don't need to have a like million. a million yeah. travel adapters, so. I also picked up these travel compression bags, which is basically like a vacuum seal bag. I haven't opened it yet, but it kind of just looks like it's a special travel snapbook bag. I thought that's good since I'm taking a smaller suitcase. Got some Barocca. You know, in case nice. you need a bit of a, a pip. Uh, I already had these, but these are some packing cubes from K 
Kmart. And I also have their clear makeup bag because I like to take all my makeup and toiletries carry on with me just so that they don't get lost and don't explode in the bag. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do makeup or freshen up, you've got it all with you. So it does need to be clear to go through security. Okay, see, I've run into the issue that mostly when I've been going through Dubai, where they don't accept that. They don't you consider still, this clear. Yeah, no, you still, your liquids still need to be in a sealed snap lock bag. Oh. So like I have- uh, In two days. Two days. So I have this one, and I think I'm just gonna have a snap lock bag with the liquids and stuff uh, yeah. that I can just pull out. This was fine at Auckland Airport. I guess I'll yeah. see if it depends on probably the person. Mm -hmm. I also collect like the little yes. dust bags that come with everything. I got a whole pile over here. Hey, you were mocking me when I was quite packing for Christchurch about all my bags. Or was, was that I just? I like to put my shoes in here as well, so you don't get dirty, mm. dirty shoes in your clothes. What have you got in your goodie bag, Ellen? This I got for my birthday for my parents, and it is a little like tech case with all of these cool pockets for all of your chargers. Now, I am currently charging something, so it's not got everything in there, but you can get the general idea. And it's from the brand, what did you say? Bellroy. Bellroy. Very nice. And it's just, I love it. It's good quality. And one thing I've found recently going through certain airports is if you travel with camera gear, your batteries have to be out of the camera and also in separate pockets. So I used to chuck them all in one pocket and then I kept getting pulled up and they're like, your batteries can't touch. So this one I can strap in a battery and then there's also separate pockets in the back so I can separate all the batteries. I would have had that problem, but I guess I probably didn't have as many batteries. Oh, I've definitely pulled, been pulled up when I had like too many cables and they were all kind of just shoved in and they yeah. were like, what is going on here? Take the cables out. Please. This is why I feel like something like this is really good because it's going to make your transition through security. Yeah, if they want to check your ca cables, and they're just all there. Like, oh, bam, here's my batteries and cables. Um, another thing I like to travel with is like my iPad and Kindle. And they always make you take out your laptop at the airports, but I always take these out as well because the electronics on the scanners, sometimes they're like, it looks suspicious. So I just take it out, it's easier. Yeah, some places they actually make you take out iPads, some places ah. you do don't. It's, it's different every airport I go through, which is really frustrating. The other new thing I have is my coloring book, which is quite like heavy to pack in my carry-on. So I'll either bring this one or I'll bring like a smaller one. I just wanted something off my phone. You guys know I'm always looking for like, Fun free activities <laughs> because I spend so much time on screens with my job. And then the other thing I have in the back pocket is obviously my laptop. I was going to buy a new laptop before we left, but then somehow it became May and I was like, cool, I guess we're just rolling with this, this laptop now. <laughs> Another essential for me, I actually take two of these. It's a power bank. <gasps> That's the tiniest power bank. I've I ever know. Seen. I got this as a gift from like a Christmas gift from work. It's like, what brand is this? I don't know, I think you can get it at the warehouse. Oh, it's a 5,000 milliamp hours. I might buy one of those. That's gonna go on my list to buy because my power bank's really big. And again, I think the key with the packing strategy here is to get everything as small as possible. <laughs> the other thing on my to buy list is some air tags. We were just talking about this and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get some air tags, put them in both suitcases we're taking, my backpack, my handbag. If the airline loses our luggage or it gets sent back to New Zealand or like all of those stories that you hear, I can literally look on my phone. You know when you're like waiting at the carousel and you're like, where's my bag? And you could literally look it up. I think that's- Does it use GPS? Uses the find my phone, whatever that is on. The last techie thing I have in here are my headphones, which literally go against everything we've just said around packing small things, <laughs> but I really like my headphones. So basically on the plane, you're on there for so long you want comfortable headphones. Yeah, mine aren't that comfortable. And But they look cute. <laughs> and the thing I noticed recently was I started traveling just with my AirPods, but the TVs and the airplanes don't all have like Bluetooth, they're mostly yeah. plug in. So if you bring something you can plug in, that's better. I'm gonna need to get an adapter for that like funny two pronged airplane plug. I feel like the last thing I have on in here is my hairbrush. These are just the best hairbrushes. I lost that little cover thing. The I cover. Just, mine just goes naked in there. <laughs> this is a tangle teaser for those of you who didn't recognize it. I feel like they're everywhere now. They were very like, early YouTube trend, like everyone was getting tangled teasers. Yeah, and I will put that definitely in my carry-on because 
my hair just gets crazy on the plane. <laughs> we have someone meeting us at the airport as well, like one oh, of yeah. Ali's friends, and you're like, I have not met this person before. Like, first impression coming off 24 hours of travel, it might be nice to just brush my hair. Yeah. I have been working on a pack list for a little while. Kind of as I've gone through my week, I've been writing things down. I've added a few things like umbrella and raincoat because I was watching the weather reports for the cities that we're going to and there's definitely some rain happening so I need those. I've actually added Tokyo, Osaka and Kyoto to my weather app so I've kind of been keeping an eye on the temperatures, kind of figuring out what I need to pack. Oh great, look, rain in Kyoto today. There's like lows of 19 degrees and it goes to like 13 overnight. So I do need some layers. I'm gonna pack a little bit of knitwear and I think a denim jacket so I can layer and stuff through the day. I really wish I was one of the girls that had the cute aesthetic hangers for everything, but I don't, so it's kind of like <laughs> chucked up on here. Um, I almost forgot I need to take some togs. We're gonna try go to an onsen while we're there, so those, these are the ones I designed for the warehouse. Yay. I'm going to take as a jacket my denim jacket. I was chatting it through with Ellen. She agreed the one that it is is the denim jacket. It kind of goes with everything and it's got lots of good pockets as well. Another one from the warehouse. I feel like this is, this looks like I'm sponsored travel by the warehouse but I'm not. I mean technically they do pay you just a salary and you work there full time. Because <laughs> I realise as well my next item is a piece of nowhere from the warehouse. Because I feel like it's good for travelling to have a cardi. Yes. I'm probably going to take this one on the plane maybe. Either this one or the, the crew. I feel like this covers both of my bases for what I need for. This is perfect for this season though, because yeah. this is where I'm lacking in my packing wardrobe at the moment. Because a knitwear item, tie across your shoulders mm. or your hips if you get yeah. too hot, this one, versus yeah. a denim jacket or something, carrying that around is annoying. Yeah. So this one's actually 100% cotton and it's a really lightweight one from Cotton On. This one's pretty light but a little bit on the warmer side so I feel like in terms of the different days I should be covered here. Getting into bottoms now. I'm going to- these need washing, they're covered in cat fur. But these are my favourite leggings from Kmart. They've got pockets on the side and I just love them for travelling. I might come back wearing these on the plane, we'll see. This is so wrinkly. But I'm also not going to bother ironing it because it's just going to get wrinkled in my bag as well. This is my nice little satin slip skirt. Let's hope the hotels have irons because Ellen's face right now. If I need to dress up, this is my item and it packs up really small. Ellen and I talked about these jeans. These are the Levi's Ribcage Straight. Ellen and I both love them. This colour's got a lot of nice stretch to it so it's really comfy if I am sitting on a train or something. They just look nice, you know, comfy, nice jeans, but casual. If it is too hot, I've got my trusty little skirt from Uniqlo. I definitely prefer wearing pants and shorts when I travel, just, you know, prevent chaffage. <laughs> and I've also got my trusty linen pants from Cotton On. They just go with everything and they're really comfy and they're not too hot. Next, I've got a couple of shirts. I just really like Taking these traveling nice and layerable. If it's hot, you can take it off if you've got a singlet underneath. Just got two shirts here. I've also got a few different t-shirts, like one with a print. I'll probably take the t-shirt I'm wearing. So some nice white t-shirts and a little bit of a darker color. And then lastly over here, I've got a few little tank singlets. This one's an, actually a maid that's like a little one shoulder one, which will be cute. I like to wear these under the shirts. But they're also good by themselves if it's really hot, so. In terms of shoes, my number one will be my Birkenstocks. I love my Birkenstocks, they're so comfy. And especially if it's hot, nice to have a bit of airflow. I'm thinking about also taking my little sandals here. It is quite rainy in Japan at the moment, and these are good in that I don't mind them getting wet because my Birks are actually suede, so I don't really like wearing them out in the rain. They don't take up too much room. And then finally, I'm gonna take my Converse, good for walking around. They also pack down really nice and small. You can tell from how they look, they're very well loved. So maybe I should get a new pair while I'm away, we'll see. <laughs> everything can kind of like match back with everything else. So I can match and match. I have quite a few different outfits, but I don't have to pack too much. And also, like I said, there are so many uni clothes in Japan, so if I need some more stuff, I'm gonna go there. How many times can I say uni clothes in a video? <laughs> I'm really sweaty. <laughs> we can finish there. 
So here is my clothing rail and it's obviously a little bit bigger than Tara's. I'm going for four weeks. I'm also trying to dress for London city vibes and then Scotland road trip where it's going to be colder and wetter. <laughs> so this is kind of like outerwear. Then we've got t-shirts and shirts and then we've got one dress and three pairs of pants. I still need to add my jeans to this pile and also a few pieces of like active wear and leggings. Some of this stuff, like um, one of these and two of these tops I'll be wearing on the plane because I am also traveling for like 30 hours. So I need two shirts. <laughs> I feel like two of my shirts from this pile are literally just gonna be taken out for plane travel and then not being able to worn for like a week until we do washing. This is my bag that I'm taking for the trip. I've gone for like majority pants, which is quite different for me, but it is gonna be a bit cool. Um, temperatures looking a bit rainy. Anywhere from like eight degrees up to 18. So I think pants will be good. I've got one dress option for like evening dinners, but it is knitted, so it's nice and warm. We've got plenty of t-shirts, which we can then layer up with like light jumpers. We've got some more like active wear, like this will be a Scotland warm layer. We've got like a bit of a knit top. We've got a shirt top in case I want to like pair this with my pink pants for a li little bit more of a dressy look. I don't really care about being super stylish on this trip to be honest. Um, I'm mainly bringing things like my pink blazer because I'm going to be doing a book event while I'm there so I want to be dressed up for that. Also I've got my trusty pink raincoat for if we're walking around doing touristy things in the rain. It feels like a lot but then it's four weeks and I'm doing so many things like Scotland road trip, hiking in the highlands, fancy book events in London. Like there is variety here. <laughs> I also bought some new t-shirts because I got one of these in my last vlog from Glassons and I loved it so much so I got two other colours. This is a bit of a mess, but organized chaos. I'm kind of stacking a few bits of active wear because I also need to dress for like golf. So I've got a golf dress on here at the moment, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna bring it because I think it might be too cold. Suitcase in here, I've got all my packing cubes and stuff. I'm doing three pairs of shoes. These will be worn on the plane, these two in the suitcase. I was gonna bring like a fancier pair of, of shoes instead of like another pair of sneakers. I was gonna do like black ballet flats or something, but I just decided I'm not really gonna do anything that fancy. And I think these will actually look really cool with the pink suit for my book event. So we're gonna do that. And then this is the chaos of everything else that I'm trying to pack.